Welcome back everyone. I'm just, um, well, I'm off work because I've got, um, I picked up some kind of infection from working at the farm. I've had it a little while and it's not getting no better. So I'm off work for a little while while I'm on meds and the doctors figure out what's up with me. So I'm just doing a bit of uh, putting the wires in frames, supers ready. I've got a nice, nice big spinner there, look at that, commercial. Got it cheap off a friend from um, someone they know gave up beekeeping. I've got my old spinner there in the box, which is still brand new really, one season. I've took over my parents' conservatory with my bee stuff, it's getting everywhere. Need to sort that out. I thought I'd just show you the... Um, the a little jig I made for doing the frames. So I'll put my frames together on this using this. So I've done them all now, so I'll show you doing one. But basically I'll put my frames together using this. You can it's it's just for Langstroth's. Although I can do um me Layans frames in here, although I don't need to make them because my Layans I is still only uh full. But yeah I put them together like in here it's a simple thing really you just you only need a frame to set it all out get a frame lay it out get your bits of wood and just screw them in i do need to make it so the frame slides all the way up to there so i need to extend this to go under here to support it because sometimes when you whack that you break them so I like to have them back there, but then when I pull the wire tight, play a tune. When I, when I pull the wire tight, it pulls the frame that way, and then when I hit that last nail, you see it bang. But yeah, it works really well. And then I've done these little cutouts. You won't be able to get it in there with the wire, but you put that in there to knock your little brass things in, eyelets in. On my uh, brood frames, I only put two in, and I only wire two, because they're brood frames, so they're not gonna go in a spinner, or they shouldn't be going in a spinner, really. And the bees will do the rest. These two hold the wax nice, and the bees glue it all in. It sits in your little ridge, so. But yeah, it works right on both the brood frames, and then, also the super frames the same you see simple thing to make anyone can make one it's just a board so this bit this bit here is for when i make me layers frames or jig up the layers frames you could adjust it easily to do nationals yeah just what i'd show everyone that makes the process a lot easier. I just need to find some that um, when I pull the wire, it don't cut into my hand because it cuts into my hand. And I, I've got this little thing. Oh, sugar. And it does that. And then the same as here, I'll put it back on here. And then I'll put, I'll put my wax in and lay it on top. And then I'll get a battery, which is down there, and two wires. And then you put it on there, put it on there, and it melts your wax into the, the wire, into the wax to hold it all in place. I need to wax some brood frames, and I do need to wax all my super frames. Bees are very busy today. Weather has been a bit stupid here. Bit worried about the other ones that I put um, give extra boxes and stuff to because the weather turned. It we had two nice days, and then yesterday it was hail and rain and all sorts. Yeah, so that's all I'm doing. I'll be back soon. So this is how I wax my frames. I put the um, wax on, lay it onto the two pieces of wire, and then I have a negative terminal and a plus terminal that's connected to this battery here, it's just a little 12 volt battery 
and then basically you touch it on you connect the 12 you connect the black or the red it doesn't really matter to the wire and then you go this side and then you touch this side to the wire and then just push the wax down which embeds it onto the uh, frame I'll see if I can do one see it's just melted it through you don't want to go too fast or push too hard or she just cut it off a cheese wire hot cheese wire but I'll do that on both and then they see that holds it in and then the bees do the rest of the work and you should see it it's just melted right halfway in just embeds it between the into the wax.